Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. My name is Alex and in this video we'll be getting into a subject that is a little bit out of the normal realm. Usually I talk about gear and climbing techniques and rescue techniques and all that stuff, but now we'll be getting into tool bags. It's one of those subjects that always is kind of neglected and we had a tool bag introduction beginning of the year. You can check the video up there, which I'm pretty stoked about. But there's another tool bag from a different company that's coming out. Uh, it's already out. I've been trying it for the last three months. I've been working with it. And I actually think it's a, for me, it's a game changer. It's a very good bag and it is the cold. Where can you see it? The Wingman. So the Wingman, the company is founded by a rope access technician who got frustrated with working with a lot of different bags and we're always improvising to make something out of, it's not meant for rope access. We're always figuring out things. Well, this bag is a little bit different because of the way it attaches to your seat actually, not something that you clip onto the harness and just make do. It stays open, it's square, you it actually retains the shape as I'm showing it to you now. I can even hold it like this and you see that the bolts are on magnets. So the bolts, it, well, unless you're working with rust free, rust proof, out of whatever. If you're not working with steel, it won't work, but these bolts, it's a magnet. So it's beautiful. It's very adaptable. I will overlay photos. I've got enough people who, who have made their own little. You can customize this. You can make it one big square or rectangle. You can do whatever you want. This is, uh, you can take this out and then there's actually more room in there. You can make all these little pouches in there. There's magnets along the sides here. All the way around, oh, oh, over here. So all the way around on the inside so you can you can put magnets, you can stick steel anywhere. There's uh, little rings in there for to connect your lanyards to if you're the drill, drills or the tools you're using. Um, it, I really like this. I've used it mostly on a painting job of a very old building in the Netherlands and get like the, the, the sander in here. I took this one out of course but we have like the bucket, uh, little bucket in here for your brushes and then a different bucket we threw it away of course for the, for the paint and a different pouch for the cloth and for the cleaning solution and everything was very nice and neat and organized on the harness. There's one thing that I think they should add but more on that later in this video. If you want to know it, if you want to hear it, just give the video a thumbs up right now. Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to always be notified of a new upload. If you want to really want to support the channel, head over to Patreon, www.patreon.com slash the rope access channel. And you can become a level one patron. And that basically means you buy me a cup of coffee as soon as I release one video. You can hit the link in the bottom, head over to Ko-fi and do me a one-time donation. You can give a super thanks in the YouTube. There's so many ways to support the channel. I'm supplying you with the free content. If you want to support a little bit, that will be well appreciated. All right, wingman back. So how does this work? There is this hook. Uh, it's not a hook, whatever. This thing, let me show it to you like this. This thing attaches to a bracket that attaches to the seat and the worksheet. So this will fit most worksheets. Um, it's something you just slide over uh, the little connection thingy from the worksheet and once it is in place, let me put it back where it's supposed to be, like so, it's on the seat and I just take the bag and it goes in, very hard to do trying to film one handed like this. So now it's on the seat like this. I've had it filled with, I don't know, five, 10 kilos of weight and it's still, it works, it's very good. If you want to lower stuff down, it has a very solid connection point with a loop in the middle instead of clipping it like this with the risks, risks of your back turning out and your paint spilling out all, all over the place. Right now it's a very good way to lower it. And you can suspend it on a rope next to you 
And as you can see, probably, I hope, it's open. I can get my tools and my drills and everything out. So I can put a, like a, 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 an ascender, chest ascender, hand ascender, and clip it onto the rope next to me on my backup line and work from there as well. If I'm sharing this with my buddy who's working next to me, for instance. So that's a very cool bag, a very cool design. I've used, like I said, I've used it for a two or three months where five or six weeks were really full on every day. Very good bag. So let me hop into my harness. Very, very bloody comfortable. So I made uh, the end of the rope is uh, attached to my bag. I can lift it up like this. So I'm actually lifting in some way, shape or form. It's going to be, uh, what do you call it? Little two to one pulley system. So I've got it suspended in the, with a turbo chest, cam turbo chest with the little pulleys. I like to do it because it's easy for this. So now I can actually work, open the bag. It's easy to open, the Velcro, it's not super tight, but it is enough to prevent your stuff from falling out. So right now it's closed, I can open it up. And I have a very clear work site. So I can take out my drill. Of course, I connect the lanyard I have on a point. So let's set it up properly. Yeah, you can drop your tools. Yes, 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 I can. I know, I know. So if I want to, I can connect it here and it's all set. But this is good, it works. But they thought about something different. I can connect it into the Worksheet on the side, just release this. Take it off. And now if I want, if I want to be extra secure, I can connect this to a piece of the gear loop that if it would bounce off or something, that uh, the bag is still secured. So now it's a very sturdy platform to work from. I can take my drill out and can do my do my whatever I need to do. I can get my bolts, up, connect them and everything. It's very easy to do. And I, should, I drop it in and it's secured. It's very easy to store my tools in. A lot of options. Let's talk about the things I encountered. One of the things is we were working on a slanted roof like this. So now I'm suspended straight. The bag is straight, it's all good. But if I'm like this all day, then the bag is tilted forward a little bit. So what would be really cool, but it will probably weaken the system a little bit, would be really cool if in here, there would be a way to adjust the angle of the bag to how I would be working. Another cool feature would be being able to add on things to the outside. Maybe I have tubes for my, I don't know, in Dutch we call them sausages, the worcester, for when you're doing your caulking. So you have your tubes here, or maybe some way to put on a paper towel. So when you're cleaning your things, and I know property services, link in the description and on the screen, an amazing Instagram account to do a lot of really cool work down under. Not Australia, New Zealand, I think you guys are from. They do some really cool stuff, have some really cool setups that you can see they've been working at it for a long time. They've been working with this bag as well. I think they like it. Um, we have to check their account though. Uh, but cool guys, give them a follow. So this bag, I think it's awesome. I do not get paid for this. I do not get any compensation for this. I did get this bag because I got contacted. The train, mic's still running, yeah. So the training center I teach at, this also has a store. As you can see the training center, Industrial Klimmen, link in the description. They have a web shop where you can buy all the climbing gear you need to work safely. You can follow any training, all that good stuff. I teach all the Arata trainings here. I'm the technical authority for Arata. Um, like I said, links in the description. You will get a little bit of discount if you buy through me here and you will support the channel. That said, they said we're gonna be selling this bag. You wanna try it out. I'd used it for five or six weeks on a painting job. I've used it on a few jobs since then. And like I said, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I don't talk about things that I do not like on this channel, unless I think it's unsafe, which we have not encountered yet. I'm not making any extra money of this. It's a cool bag, I don't care where you buy it. It's a good bag. It's expensive, but I think it's worth it. With all the hassles I've been having with bags that fold down, not enough compartments, don't keep their shape, and they don't connect, they're always hanging, they're always like suspended in between, you're always doing like the little trick 
on the, on, the, on the backup rope or even installing a second line. So, in short, I'm talking too much, I'm too long. I like this bag, it's a good bag. We'll see about the long-term durability, but for what we did already, what we put it through, on the, the, the tiled roofs with all the little nails sticking out and everything, it's still perfectly good. It's got some color to it right now, so that's good. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of this bag or what is your favorite bag setup. Send me on the email connect at DropeExis channel, send me your bag setup. I would like to learn more about how people organize their workflow. It depends on what your workflow is and what you do as well. All right, that's it for this video, people. Stay connected. As I was filming this, a little intermezzo. I just remembered. I got given. Little wing. Working load limit 5 kg. So also very thought out. Something that retains its shape. It's like a half moon shape. And you can connect it with two carabiners to your harness. Let me see if I can figure it out right now. So let's go this way. One on this side, and then on the other side, over here, for instance. Beautiful! Let's get the drill out. So, 18 volt M18 Milwaukee drill fits in perfectly. So that's cool. So you can have the big bag on one side and just this for your drills and keep your, put it in here, get your bolt sorted and whoop, start drilling. I like it, it's a very cool. Let me tilt the camera down a little bit more so you can see a little bit better. Maybe zoom out. Yeah, we can zoom out a little bit. As you can see, it's what quite stays open, drop it in. I can look it, close it with the zipper. I have to say that I think this zipper is kind of fragile looking a little bit. But, and it also has two, uh, what do you call it, two hooks or eyelets to connect your gear to so you can't drop it. So pretty cool, this seems pretty cool. I'm gonna test it out and I'll get back to you. You'll probably see it appear in some reels, anything. Um, that was just a little uh, intermezzo of the video of the big wing bag. This is a small wing bag or a little wing. I think they're coming out with some pretty, uh, pretty cool products. I'm excited. All right.